Friday night dinner is back on the table for families across Victoria. Soon up to 10 people will be allowed to gather in homes once again. It's been tough not being able to see them, so it's going to be great to reconnect with them. I feel very wonderful about it. I wish it could happen. I have seven grandchildren. We are super <laughs> excited. But the business community feels a little differently. The roadmap only permits some of the treatments at this beauty salon and it's still not clear if they'll be able to open at 70%. Business owners need the small details. We need to know exactly where we stand and when we can reopen. And retail will still only be able to operate outdoors, which many traders say is simply unworkable. It's again tokenistic at best. It sounds great in a press conference, but when it comes to reality and putting it into practice, it's just not viable. The good news is we're a week earlier than what we thought we were going to be. We have the additional easings for hospitality, so let's make the most of it. The events industry is still waiting on a plan for when crowds of more than 150 people can come together. For the vast majority of events, whether they're community events, music events, festivals, conferences, exhibitions, we just still don't know when they're going to be allowed to happen. Those who won't benefit from today's announcement are hoping further changes will come when the state hits 80% full vaccination. That if these restrictions are easing sooner, then fingers crossed the next lot will Sooner. We've tried to be balanced, we've tried to be uh, as fair as possible, but whenever you draw lines, whenever you write lists, there will always be some people who are either on the wrong side of the line or not on the list, and I, I get that. It's a balance that's important to get right, as there are concerns that the early mark from lockdown could increase pressure on the hospital system. I would recommend that all Victorians just watch what the numbers are doing, including the impact on the public hospital system and the ability of the hospital system with very tired, fatigued, overworked staff looking after them. It's likely changes to the roadmap announced today will only be in place for seven to ten days as Victoria heads towards the 80% double dose target when we can expect restrictions to ease further. We should be getting there by Melbourne Cup Day. Victoria's long pause is about to come to an end. Dana Morse, ABC News, Melbourne.